welcome back. Welcome. We've got more of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Diamond is Unbreakable. Hot dog. But before we start, we have a little sad announcement to make. We do have a sad announcement to make. A while ago, we promised we were going to do a crossover with my dad's channel where he does hobby terrain. We were going to make a diorama and stuff. And it was going to be a raffle and you guys would all donate to charity and then part of the money would pay for the building the terrain and it was going to be jojo oriented terrain yeah. it was going to be jojo awesome terrain um and the money was going to go to that and then the leftover money was going to go to charity and then, and then one of you would win it and then we found out that such a thing is illegal in our state <laughs> And we can't find yeah. software to run a raffle because in our state it's considered gambling. Yeah. So we still want to build JoJo terrain. Yeah. And but... we still want to donate to charity, but we're going to have to find a different way to do it. Yeah. We're going to have to figure out something else. <laughs> yeah. But. Because we found JoJo figures mm -hmm. that are suitable, but they're expensive. And, uh, but we also wanted to donate to Doctors Without Borders. And so we got to figure out a way to do this all in a legal manner. Yeah. Or we'll go to jail. <laughs> yeah. And if we go to jail, we can't make more videos. Yeah, we can't. All right. But back to the fun part, which is today. Hi there. <laughs> we've got two more episodes and they're kind of exciting episodes we left off on a cliffhanger we did where do you remember what happened uh it was uh creepy town and uh he found a new victim and i don't remember the cliffhanger and then they went they found the shop where he got his tailoring done oh that's right the tailor got blown up by yeah. a little tank that's right. Yeah. I remember this. So we're going to have to see what happens next. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's do it. What is his power? If something's ticking, you run away. Yeah, you run away from yeah. things that tick. Also, you don't turn your back to the door when the creepy guy just grabbed his coat and went into the door. But they did. I think Jotaro was just trying to shield Koichi. A demon's crept into our everyday life. Our peace has already crumbled long ago. How many episodes are in this series? Uh, 39. And how what are we on? Oh, let me check. We're on, this episode is episode 23. Oh, so, so we're more than halfway through. Yeah. If we go after him now, we might actually have a shot at catching the bastard who murdered Raimi and Shigechi. We need to observe the situation before making our move. Be patient, Koichi. You know what I've noticed about this show? What? That they use the word bastard a lot. <laughs> they just throw it around all the time. If he were married, he wouldn't need to come here to get a button fixed. The jacket's unique fabric and styling tell us he tends to Did he just imply that if he was married, his wife would fix the jacket for him? Yeah! This show and its regressive attitudes towards women. Although this uh, series has been better. We've had seen more strong-willed women. That's a lot of punching. Yep. And it didn't seem to do any good. They think they've won, but once Deadly Queen's heart attack finds its prey, it won't rest until its target is dead. I like that the bad guy is a serial killer who blows stuff up. Because most serial killers are sneaky. 
but yeah. it's a serial killer who blows stuff up. I mean, obviously he can blow stuff up and not leave evidence because there's not a big bloody mess all over. But, but still, it's weird. Yeah, it's bizarre, wouldn't you say? I would say this is a bizarre adventure. You, you've been hitting it so hard you're starting to bleed, but it still doesn't have a single scratch on it. Maybe you should try helping, Reverb. It's 10 meters and Reverb has a range of 50 meters. I can find that prick. Then do it. Koichi? If it detects something hotter, then it moves on to that. Enough, time resume. <laughs> I was right. Since it's drawn to the highest temperature, it can... That was an interesting, uh, deduction. There's power! <laughs> Jotaro! No! Mr. Jotaro! He can't die. It's gonna kill us! It's just too powerful! Can't Reverb get back by now? See a super slow stand? Wait! You have got to be kidding me! This isn't a gas stove? Why the hell does this house have to have an electric one? I bet it's- Electric stoves still get hot. Get over here! down. It's like Mr. Jotaro said. I need to carefully observe. Focus. This thing has a weakness. I never noticed it until now. You're really starting to piss me off. You're I like how time doesn't mean anything in this show. <laughs> At least that pest is distracted for the time being. So he just wrote the word sizzle on a little balloon and... <laughs> That was not the sensation of human flesh exploding. Over here. I like that. That was not the <laughs> sensation of human flesh exploding. I'm gonna start saying that. Why aren't you showing yourself? What's the matter? <laughs> oh. Reverb! <laughs> Could it be? Reverb evolves like a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, he's Reverbizard. It says Kabam Bam. <laughs> what? What the hell is happening? My left hand feels as heavy as a cement block. This was the Does Act Two manipulate gravity. It's Act Three. Act Three. Sir, are you okay? What the hell is this? If someone breaks the table in half, you don't say, sir, are you okay? Also, has no one noticed that his tie has the skulls all down it? <laughs> well, I don't think you can determine if someone's a serial killer just because they have a kind of creepy tie. I have no idea how those meddlesome twits did it, but somehow they were able to weigh down heart attack. Shit, how did it come to this? I have to go back to that shop and fetch heart attack myself. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. All right. All right. Have any thoughts? Um. I like Act 3. I like that he talks to Act 3 because no one talks to their stands. Yeah. Have we seen other people talk to their stands? Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think that we have. I'm not sure. I feel like there has been one before, but I don't remember. If there has been one, leave it I in guess the comments. Technically, Surface. Who like, is Surface? He's the guy who turned to Josuke and could mirror all his movies. Oh, that's right. Stuff. Hmm. Well, yeah, so I like that. Um, I like that uh, the bad guy has skulls on his tie. And I like that he appeared to rip the waiter's clothes off. I couldn't quite tell. 
in the very final, at uh, the very end, so he breaks, first off, he breaks the cup, then he breaks through the table, and then at the very end, his arm goes down and it looked like he ripped the waiter's shirt off. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Let's rewind the tape. Right here. Gonna tear his shirt off. Whoa! <laughs> That's an interesting thing I never noticed. Well, there we go. Yeah. So, he's a serial killer and a sex offender. I mean... I mean, cutting off women's hands and licking them up is, is probably kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, so good things. I'm yeah. I'm pleased with how things are going. Yep, and we've got a music reference in the new stand or the part of Killer Queen. Its name is Heart Attack in the English dub, mm -hmm. but in yours it was after Heart. It's, a, it's sheer Heart Attack, which is. Another Queen song. Oh, okay. How's it going down there, buddy? Can we help you out? You don't look like you're doing so good. I can call your mama for you if you want. How about it? I'm just... In this show, there are a lot of, like, bully thugs that make fun of people in the street. Yeah. <laughs> it happened on the streets of Cairo. Kaboom! So wait, now I'm confused. Is the little tank not his stand? It is kind of. It's I believe it is the stand the stand is controlled by both of his hands. His mm -hmm. left hand controls sheer heart attack uh -huh. and all his movements, and that's why his hand's getting weighed down when he's getting attacked. Gotcha. And his right hand controls Killer Queen and that's why he does the little Oh, gotcha. So they're, they both blow stuff out. Mm -hmm. But. What the heck is happening up there? I'm annoyed it's probably that dog. Wherever you go, chase you. Whenever, chase you. I will chase you. Nowhere to escape. Start running, I will chase you. Tomorrow, chase you. My fists will be the one to show you. You know, until you got to that line, it could have been romantic. <laughs> I can see this comes as a shock to you. Make no mistake, we've indeed matured. Our power is much greater than before. My inferior range in comparison with Act 2 is an unavoidable shortcoming. So now that the stand is talking... Hmm? Now that the stand is talking... And is talking about we doing this and my power is this and he's aware and he's coherent and sentient, if you will. Yeah. Um, it makes me question the um, theology of the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure universe. Are these... He says we've matured. He's talking about himself. He's aware that he's a stand. Well, stands are kind of an extension of your soul. So maybe it's just a representation of Koichi's soul that's talking. Interesting. Ah! Make him suffer, Act 3! Ah! Act 3's a puncher, too? Yeah. That's so not fair! Why does this guy have two stands? I thought a user could only possess one! Well, hey, he had the same question I did. Yeah. This day has gifted me with the exact same pain you're feeling now. However, I accepted it with grace as opposed to your tedious one. He did not accept it with grace. He threw a tantrum. <laughs> you're such a colossal dumbass! I'll be waiting for you on the other side, you murder-happy son of a bitch! That's enough! Koichi, oh, no! That's the end of that brat. But damn him. Why do I feel like I lost... Koichi, no! Koichi goes down, Jotaro goes down. I thought roughing the boy up would settle my turbulence. He punched a hole through him. 
He's been punched through before with an arrow, and yeah. he survived it. Go ahead and take one last look at it, because I'm about to bust it up. To be clear, by it, I mean your face. <laughs> you sir. That's a very playground insult. <laughs> Among other things, but I really must mosey along to my next destination. I have a mere 20 seconds left. Mindless small talk just isn't on the agenda. Is knowing where people are and knowing how long things are part of his stan's ability? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. I do have to say, the thing about the sock and the shoe was a nice serial killer touch. Yeah. Makes him into a little bit more of a psychopath, and I like that. What, what is this, Dan? It's so fast, it's like the damn thing has stopped time! It's just like that. He's not gonna make it at this rate! I, know. I can't believe it. Josuke and Okuyasu are here. This is the worst day I've ever lived through. It's been one disaster after another. Yoshikage Kira has always been able to overcome any... Okuyasu ought to come and beat this guy out. But he just doesn't. Okuyasu is a big disappointment. All the time. Wait, are you serious? He's the killer? It seems you finally hunted down your culprit. You're right. I'm the one you've been looking for. Now beat him up. He was kind enough to leave his hand behind. Huh? It's not the prettiest sight to look at, but that hand is leading us to our murderer. Let's go. Yeah. You're not getting away from us that easily, you freaking psycho. Hey, you girls seeing this? <laughs> Mark my words. I just want to know. What's going through Ariaki's brain? I don't Follow know. the flying severed hand. Is it time to head home already? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. See you around. And he's the guy who doesn't want to make a scene. Oh no, Dr. Aya! Aya, are you in here? You can't kill her. She's. No way! It can't be! The hell did she do to deserve this? Look over there. It's Yoshikage Kira. He's dead. Aya! Use Shining Diamond and Healer. So he managed to slip away. With his new face, he'll have no reason to fear or hide. You can bet your ass he'll stay right here in Morio. And go on living just as he always has. Aya Tsuji deceased. Yoshikage Kira has changed his face, name, and address. And well. Well, that took a turn. Yeah. All right. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are, um, that was super weird. Um, I didn't expect it to end that way. I didn't want Aya to die. Um, I wanted her to be saved and rescued. Um, and yet she wasn't. Um, uh, I'm intrigued. I like uh, the evil murderer. He's, he's sneaky. He's suitably creepy. Um, upon further reflection, the thing with the sock is weird to me. Because it is very much saying, this dude has OCD. Yeah. Which, Which... is not in and of itself bad, but just... it is kind of a... Mental illness makes you a crazy person. Yeah. Which does not again gives me this guy is giving me Buffalo Bill Bill vibes over and over. Um and he's written very similarly, which makes me wonder, um 
the time period. When did this come out? Um, I think it was written like early 90s, like 92 to 95. See, it would have been that same period because I think Silence of the Lambs was like 91, I want to say, but I'm not positive on that. So it might have been inspired by it. Might have been inspired by it. I don't know. I'm just getting a very similar vibe. Anyway, it's good Anyways. stuff. I'm, I'm intrigued by it. Yeah. We're going to have to see what happened to Yoshikage Kira next week. Yes, we are. Exciting. Let's do the patrons. You neglected to mention that means these are my very favorite patrons. Ah, yes. Your very favorite patrons. They are in alphabetical order. Ammon Allen, Aram Lore, Bagner T. Pardon me, Blazing Opus. I'm going to yawn for you. Blazing Opus. Blinky's dad loves Polnareff's fabulous hair. Cartoon King. Christian and Gwen. D90 Art. That's a new one. Dystopia. Ebony Like the Wood. Emma Mosen. Emma Mosen. Sorry, I could only see half the name. Eric Zudoria. Honcho Hammerhose. Insane Tofu. Jameson Bowling. Joseph Michelli, Kalu Badabar, Kenny Munn, Louis Paul Letart, Mr. Someone, Next Gen Blue, Pizza Time, Raven Death, R Sarah Richards, uh, Sebastian Carmona, Seco Mode, Tom Beveridge, Trevor Mayo, Wild Frito, and Willow Chaffee. You're all fabulous people, and we love you. And we'll see you next week on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Diamond is unbreakable. Diamond is unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs>